Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my sheets. Yeah, high school was hard. You'd fight with my mom. I'd fall asleep to the screaming, sound machine always speaking, left emotional scars. Now I'm 21, a soul of 50 years. And now that you are gone, I'm doing things that I shouldn't know from. I'm doing things that I shouldn't do. I'm 21, a soul of 50 Days passes by And most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is of the answers The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over
things don't go to plan I kind of lose my mind I hope it's real This life comes around Just keep your faith And search for the fountain Time is of the essence The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over
All right. Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. Um, if not, I hope this stream will help out and make your day a little bit better. Because, uh, it's kind of hectic today, to be completely honest. Um, yeah. We're just gonna join- we're just gonna have some chill vibes today. We're just gonna hang out, we're gonna kick Kanashiro's ass, and, uh, make sure that he gets justice he deserves. And we're just gonna hang out with, uh, with some babas, you know? Work on our confidants. Maybe do a little mementos uh, requests if we get any. And just generally have a good chill time. Um, it's a war zone on Twitter right now, to be completely honest. So don't blame me if you don't actually see this because uh, I wouldn't want to be on Twitter right now either. <laughs> um, it's just... It's a mess. Everything's a disaster. And, frankly, I don't want to think about that. So, we're going to have some good old time playing my favorite video game. And, uh, just have some, have some chill times for, for a few hours. So, yeah. Hope you guys get comfy with me. And, uh... You just sit back and relax for a little bit. Try not to doom scroll. <laughs> because I know that it, uh, that's something that happens a lot during this time. So just hang out, have some fun with me. I think we've got a week until the deadline for Kamashiro. And then after that, we've got, uh, Two weeks until the next palace starts. So Oh, we've got five days. No, it's the ninth. Never mind it is a week. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Ori no Bogo. Or Becco. I'm never working for you again. <laughs> EY. Ifumi. Oh yeah, and Chihaya. And Akechi. Why can I not upgrade Akechi yet? This is awful. <laughs> Just want to hang out with Akechi. Let's go hang out with Gundad then. It's been a hot second. Oh lord. <laughs> Why do I always start with EY? <laughs> I can't do his voice. When some things reach the height of usefulness, People start saying their art. Huh, <laughs> like my custom guns. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? I went to work. This time, I'm gonna have you gather some info. You'll be on your own, though. I gotta take care of some other business. Yeah. Hang out. Yes. Good. The guy you're looking for is homeless, but he knows what's up. He'll be somewhere in Shibuya. Get info on the rumor about the underground deal, and don't act all suspicious. I gotta take care of some other business, so I'm counting on you, kid. Okay. Yes, sir, Papa Gun Dad. So you want to know about some underground business deals, huh? You know, you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Or are you maybe just looking for something a little more? I can see it in your eyes. Who sent you here? I can't tell you. Sticking to the code of honor, huh? Not bad for a kid. All right, just act just act like I'm mumbling to myself. You got it? No promises. I'm gonna say anything useful either. So an exec for the Hong Kong mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's. Apparently, something big went down with a huge Asian investor. The deal was worth about 100 million yen. Though you'd figure something about ma that massive would have got more people talking about it. Maybe they lease some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't hear a thing about that, though. Alright, we're done here. Go. Okay. Um, your store is impressive as always. Great stuff, EY. Y yeah. It's nice to hear that coming from you, Suda-san. I bet you could start a war with realistic models like these. 
Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. Oh. Hmm? Yo. Welcome. Alright, EY. I'll take one of everything you showed me today. I'll need an entire arsenal. How long would that take? Hmm. Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to co go through customs. How long things get stuck there is totally out of my control, though. Tell me, Mune. What's your son's name? Kaoru-kun, was it? That's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, I might just have to let Kaoru-kun in on your little secret. suda -san, please. I wonder how- I wonder, how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza? I guess if things go sour, you could always try to sell him again. Fine, I'll put a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well then, I'll look forward to hearing from you again. Soon. Sorry to make you wait, kid. Shit. God damn it! Oh no. So that was Suda? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn about anything good? Um, 100 million yen deal. Hmm. Huh, so someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth 100 million yen. And it happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Suda had something to do with it. I hear he's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. I've got to do some more research into it myself. <laughs> Anyways, nice job. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be able to give Suda a real scare. Thanks for the, thanks to the info you gave me. Give it your all. Huh? That goes without saying. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I've felt this excited. And it's all because of you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. <laughs> Rank four. All right. All right. Starting out with a little uh, Yakuza business. Well, I'm going to head home early and spend some good old quality time with Kaoru to celebrate. Yo. Damn fine job again today. Damn fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. I like helping with Eli has honed my proficiency. Yay! Yay! Bye, Papa! Later. I'll see you next time. Yo, it's me. Just wanted to give you fair warning before I go home to Kaoru. You definitely got me some good intel. Honestly, I appreciate that. But now Suda knows your face, and that could be a real problem. I agree. You catch on fast. Thanks to that shit today, Suda knows you're connected at least. Which means that stuff we pulled with Masa ain't gonna work on him. Well, what's done is done. If one method isn't gonna work, we just gotta find another. I'll think about our next move. Until then, don't do anything stupid. When I need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. <gasps> yes, Papa. I'll be here whenever. Oh. Huh? Who could, who could that be at this hour? Let's go somewhere tomorrow. We've been we've been busy lately, so I want to be able to at least relax on Sunday. Where would be a good place to go? I know. Want to try going to the fishing pond in Ichigaya? The fishing pond, huh? Sounds fun. So are you going there with Ryuji? Sure, let's go hang out with him. Ooh, I got a bite. I hope the other fish will bite this easily. Let's meet in Shinjuku tomorrow then. Night. They have lots of fish at the pond, right? I can't wait. We're going on a fishing date with our boy. 
That's gonna be so fun. Ichigaya, the moat of Edo Castle still exists here, juxtaposed with modern life. Downtown fishing. The pond beside the station is, is a gem. Give it a try. He may land a big one. All right. You now have information on new hangout. Yay! Friend, make you go there yourself and try your handy fishing if you so choose. Oh my gosh. So I was thinking about the future, with you as the leader and me as your right hand man. Hey, doesn't meeting in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. <laughs> Think so? Jeez, you got no energy as usual. Can't you play along? I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. Ryuji, don't. <laughs> We're besties. You bring the energy, I bring the, the brain, okay? Like, I'm usually a boring high school student, but when I take my glasses off, right? Come on! <laughs> Man, the fish ain't biting. The flow hasn't moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around, then we could steal their ideas. Whoa, Whoa that's Kawakami, isn't it? What's she doing here? Oh crap, she's coming this way! Jeez. <laughs> Two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? What are you sitting around? Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? Well, look who's talking. <sighs> Adults need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. And we don't? You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Wow, sounded real old there, Kawakami. That's Miss Kawakami to you. Holy crap, Kawakami could be ma our master fisher, Ren. She's hooking fish like crazy. It's easy, just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. So the trick is not to think. Wow, you've got it in the bag, Ryuji. How am I supposed to do that? Let go of all worldly desires. I see, so if I tell myself I don't want any fish... Nope, not gonna work. I'm asking for tips because I want to get fish. <sighs> it's a nice sunny Sunday. I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. <sighs> two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. She keeps getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. Call her Master Kawakami. <laughs> they both like that! <laughs> Once again, it's Miss Kawakami. Wanna head back? Didn't think I'd see something like that today. Guess I'll hold back. Interesting. Uh, you're back. Ah, well uh, the home shopping program. And it's Sunday, so Yoshida! I would like to request your help again, but... Today's speech is a bit different than my others. However, your assistance would be the same. Are you up to this task? Yes. Thank you. The truth is, there will be cameras there today. But I'm not comfortable with that, but I couldn't decline. In any case, we just have to do what we've been doing. Well then, I'll be waiting at the square. Alrighty, we meet up. The most important thing is acting not in self-interest, but for the greater good. I... That is the mindset we politicians must instill in our constituents. Okay, all queued up. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of interesting inf interesting footage. It is no good tour, after all. Advocate an overly optimistic policy, only to lure in voters during the election season. That's how No Good Torah thought and operated 20 years ago, making unachievable pledges. Hmm, this isn't how I saw this going. If you make a progress, promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. These are basic human principles that we have all learned from the youngest of ages. Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? That's why it's all useless. 
It seems like they only wanted to get some footage of the old, old no, no good Torah. Very disrespectful. However, I've been distancing from my, myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? Well, I think so. Well, I must, I must have if you think so. However, I will never forget that the disgrace I suffered is no good Torah. Hey. Can I tell you a story? I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a diet member. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. Oh. I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with the glamorous lifestyle. I truly, I thought only of being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Hey. Learn from me. Don't let being a member of the Diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to advance in the political world will change your outlook on life. Yoshida eagerly gave me advice. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Rank 5. Occasionally raises the chances of an enemy giving you a rare item. All right. Ooh. Ooh. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you lost the last two elections. Hmm? You were Mr. Kuramoto's grandson? That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzo. Does he know that you're here speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. That must be your secretary, huh? I heard he's been helping you out a lot lately. What? You know about him? My grandfather was recently hospitalized, and you've been the topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speech today. Okay. Mm. Mr. Kuramoto spoke of me? Matsushita? Sorry, I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up for today. I feel like listening to Yoshida's speech has served to increase my charm. Yay. Interesting. Well then, I'll see you again. Good job. We were able to grab a seat, but I guess there's nothing we can do there here but relax. Alright, I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up when we get there. I'll just let you sleep. Less talking from you. <laughs> it's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention, July and August both have 31 days. Summer is long. Now then, Mr. Aether. Two you? You people are respons responsible for July and August having 31 days. Do you know who those people are? Julius and Augustus. Great, that's right. You may already know this, but the months of July and August are named after the Roman emperors Julius and Augustus. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. However, he felt like he would be losing if his month was shorter than Julius's, so he added a day. It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this. That was a no-brainer. Come on. Julius and Augustus over July and August? I don't know. I feel like if you got that wrong, that's just on you. Well, as far as you're all concerned, you're just lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams. They start next week on the 13th. Don't forget, okay? Now. Next Wednesday, huh? You'd better make sure you study. I don't need to study. Nothing? Okay, hang out with Maruki. Um, I guess today's the day we start our Yusuke confidant. Hello, Yusuke! All you have to do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. I have- what is his voice? Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. 
Do you need something? I came to see you. <laughs> ah, you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. May I get a word in? I would like to speak with you. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Yusuke. Ren, do you have time? Let's talk. Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Ren, what should I paint to capture the, capture the contents of the heart? Um... A dream world. A dream world. The abyss held within one's unconsciousness. Ah, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. <sighs> We're going on a Mementos adventure with Yusuke. Oh. This distorted realm, teeming with the shadows. The physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an, ab to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the reversion of Madarami's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my, my mind. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? What's the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Uh, just hurry it up. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm, the lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> hmm, yes. Inspiration has, inspiration has struck. That must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, oh, my heart races. Oh. Hmph, how inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down from interrupting my work. Fisted rotting meat. That's wild. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What are you talking about? was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. <laughs> Thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. I love your eccentric ex By the way, what's that word? Hand? It's the blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? You may. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> what? Hmm. <laughs> Satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of. Oh. Whoa! My picture turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. 
Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Let's do it. It's a deal then. I can sense you guys trust in me. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. Is that so? I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Couldn't tell you. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break the chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. He's the Emperor! The other day I couldn't remember who it was! Rank one. Let's use to duplicate skill cards. I was like, okay, because I'm pretty sure- because Makoto's the Empress. I'm like, who the heck could be the Emperor? I forgot about Yusuke. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I hope Contact it helps. You once it's done. Okay. Look forward to hearing from you. Lovely boy. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the bargain, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You need only ask. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I would not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Ha! Ah, for the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. Yay! Farewell. Yay! We're helping you escape the slump! Ah, you're back. Oh. Kanashiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think we can trust him? I. I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. You can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have a change of, have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That's not the issue. Despite Kanashira's change, his organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't abscond with the photographs. You mean like run off with it? I guess that's possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a common guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully, hopefully Konoshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That'll part- that part will be up to Makoto's sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the result becomes clear. Hey, hey. Yeah, I've got sooty armor, yeah, yeah. Mishima? Go hang out with him? Or start Hifumi? Gosh. The nice thing about the Shinjuku and also the- Well, the nice thing and also the, the bad thing about Shinjuku is the fact that those confidants are like always available so you don't have to worry about specific days when you have to go to them or when you can go to them but at the same time it's so stressful because they're just always there <laughs> but um we should go hang out with Mishima because we're what rank seven on him Rank 6. We're going towards rank 7. I have some new info about that actor. Seems like we're going to need a new strategy. 
I'd like to talk to you about it. Do you have time today? You like my stronger with my blah, 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 blah. yes. Thanks. I'll meet at the usual restaurant. Um. So you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. Uh... Gosh, I don't know. Cause like, you wanna say something that'll make him happy, but at the same time, like... Man's not really in a good headspace, you know? I'm gonna say you're so reliable. <laughs> I guess. I mean, this is my job. I'm a producer, remember? Actually. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So, we're gonna purge them. Sounds pretty twisted. No, no. Oh, don't worry. I'm not actually planning on hurting anyone. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped dissing the pea thieves. There are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Post after post after post, it's all please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. You're worrying me. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh? <sighs> Makoyama-kun. Yamashima, I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other not that long ago. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm? Akayama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing, but he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've been cha I've changed though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of that actor's. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akayama-kun. Let's see. Where's his info? Um, speaking of targets, are you guys going to come after me someday too? We very well might. Huh? You're really considering it? <laughs> Good job, Gaither. See you around. Anyways, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akayama-kun's info later. Mishima is trying to push a target on us to advance his own uh. agenda. I should discuss this with the others. Oh, poor Mishima. So he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us some other weird requests too? Something about the handsome actor? Is Mishima-kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently he has, some th he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akayama fellow. Whoa, wait up. He ain't that bad. Yep. Hmm. I guess we should find out what's happening if we man I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? 
we'll probably be able to track down his shadow and mementos. All things considered, I think your best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. No way, man. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. It may not seem pre preposterous, but... It may not seem preposterous, but we cannot allow him to disrupt our work. Either way, we can decide whether or not we change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Ah, <sighs> it's the only way. Yeah, let's carry out our plan. Yeah, let's head into Mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that went so fast. So you want to change my heart even after everything I've done for you guys? Me, of all people. If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some zero stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here. I want to talk to your leader, alone. Do as he says, guys. I got this. This is all your fault. Gosh, you're so fast. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I accepted that I was a zero, embraced it even. Once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Oh my gosh. I mean, why are they so fast? I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could be something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Would that really satisfy you? I'm not sure. Gosh, it's so fast. Why is it so fast? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? If I can't. Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? W what? You aren't going to change my heart? There's no need. Hey. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? Goodbye, Mishima. No! N no! I need to be- I need the Phantom Thieves! I need to be famous! I need to... I... My poor boy... Oh. This humidity is overwhelming. Good morning, it's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashira's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The fan of these will be even more renowned than, now, than before when this pub goes public. It's gonna get busy. True. This is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on that message board. I, get, I think we should take care of all the cases we have now, while we still have the chance. Yeah, I need to go and uh, do Oyamata's thing for Takemi. Oh? So I've been thinking. Oh, I mean about the track team. I just can't do it. My brain can't handle this plan this plan shit. So I thought, why don't I do this on my own way? You free to come with me now? Hold on, give me just a second. Let me see if there's anybody else. Oh, of course On's also available. Man. Am I on rank, s rank 9 with Ryuji or 8? Oh, I'm only on rank 7 with him? Gosh. Yeah, I'll go with Ryuji. Hang out with my boy Ryuji. Yeah, I'm free. Yeah. First, I gotta tell Nakoka and Takeshi about that damn coach. There's no way the track team would make a comeback without the both of them. Let's go behind the gym. Yeah. 
So, I called Nakoka and Takeshi over here. You're gonna t I'm gonna tell him about what, what that bastard Yamauchi is up to. What if they start fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't realize, but I recorded Yamauchi's whole combo back at the Manda shop. I'm a genius, I know. Anyways, uh, I might need some backup here. Can you stick around? Of course. What do you want, Sakamoto? Takeshi? Nakaoka? What, what the hell? Are you guys gonna gang up on me? Nah. Dude, chill. I just wanna talk. Listen, this here is what- what- This here is what's really going on with the track team. I'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the PTA. Until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. This has to be a joke. Yamuji said he'd make me, make me the captain. Is this real? Yeah. It's Yamuji's voice, ain't it? And on top of that, shit's gone down just like he said. Yamuji's right. I don't have talent. I'm not like you guys. I ran so damn hard, but you two were always so far ahead. How's a guy like me supposed to succeed? How am I supposed to be proud of myself? Proud? My dad always talks about how proud he is of his son. He told everyone I'd get a track scholarship like he did. That I'd follow in his footsteps as a second generation Taisei grad. That's why I listened to Yamauchi. He said if I was the captain, he'd write me a great letter of rec. Come on, man. So you trusted what he was saying about Nakaoka because of stupid crap like that? Shut up! What does a thug like you know? You couldn't know how I feel. Nobody does. Like hell I don't know! How long were we running together, huh? I went through all sorts of shit with you! Sakamoto. Who are you living your life for? Your parents? Teachers? Society? Maybe you should stop trying to live for them and just try living for yourself. You think you gotta betray people to be proud? Well, I... If that's seriously what you think, you're wrong! Hey. Nakaoka. You know, you knew something was up with Yamushi too, didn't you? I mean, the bastard's never been interested in track before. But you kept quiet. You knew he was, he was walking all over you, and you just let him do it. Yeah. I was afraid. Without Yamauchi, we still wouldn't have a team or a place to belong. I see. You miss running that bad? You know, it ain't so scary not having a place you belong. You can kind of be free that way. If anything, I'm more scared of being a crappy person. I mean, I used to be like you guys. Afraid, lying to myself. That is... That is, before I met this dude. I don't want to insult you guys or nothing. But now you're probably real pissed about all this. So, if you want to hit me or something, go ahead. I'm ready. In that case, if you insist. <laughs> Damn, it sucker punched him. Huh? You really doing it? You said it's okay, right? W wait, hold on! Ow! Did you really have to keep swinging that so hard? <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel a little better already. Me too. I think I can finally put all this behind me. Nakoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. So you want to bring back the track team? Hell yeah! You saw that, right? That was some serious violence. You deserved it. Yeah, I guess this is all my fault to begin with. Well. Either way, they're probably feeling way better now. I think they're gonna be just fine together. Thanks. All I did was watch. You're telling me, you just sat around while I got my ass beat. For real though, you were a big help. You were pushing me to be cool that whole time. <laughs> it's kind of like I was doing a sprint, and you were running, were neck, running next to me. But I was just standing here. That ain't what I meant! It was like one of them metaphor things. Of course you weren't actually running, dude. <laughs> I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Frank eight, endure. 
Alright. I love Ryuji. Such a good boy. Alright then. Anyways, let's head home. I think my mouth's bleeding, so we'll have to eat some other time. <laughs> Later. Yo, Ren, it's me. Thanks for the help today. Gah, man, my jaw's still kind of messed up. But it's a good kind of pain, you know? Like, just after a workout. They're gonna have to handle the rest, but I think they'll make the right call. Seeing them having a real heart-to-heart -heart talk, they got a good team. You did a great job. Heh, <laughs> I know, right? And all it took was ruining my pretty face. Oh, we'll be ruined, for ruined forever. If this doesn't work out, then shit, I got punched for no reason. Man, if those guys are really gonna go for this, I gotta step up my own game. I'm gonna gonna up my pace, so you better be ready for it. Okay, later. Goodbye, Ryuji. Ah, you're you're back. back. Ooh, did we finish up Mishima's request? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Man, I just wasted money! Do we finish up Mishima today? I think we do. About my previous request. I thought, I've thought about a lot of things since then. I want to talk to you again. Do you have time? Yes. Let's go meet up. Thanks. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but you, can you come to Inukashira Park? I want to talk someplace quiet where we can feel the night breeze. Sure thing. <sighs> hey, um, I've been thinking a little bit about Akiyama-kun. I don't want to change his heart. Huh? Well, actually, I was just gonna say the same thing. I mean, going after him wouldn't even help you guys get famous. It'd practically, practically be pointless. Stop worrying about fame. Huh? Wait, how'd you know about that? Oh. oh, I get it. Of course a thief who steers hearts would see what's going on in the depths of my psyche. You know, I first started the fan site so I could spread your message of justice to the world. But before I knew it, the only reason I wanted to help you guys was so I could get famous myself. Though maybe that's what- that's always been the real reason. <sighs> I don't know. I thought I was doing it out of respect for you guys. Yet deep down, I think I really just wanted to show this world I'm more than some stupid zero. Look where that got me though. I'm just a selfish loser clinging desperately to your popularity. I don't deserve to work alongside the Valiant Phantom Thieves. Well, thanks for everything. Bye! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Man, I totally ate dirt. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I can't even run away right. <sighs> Working alongside the Phantom Thieves has made me feel like I could I myself can change the world, but it's only ever been you guys. I'm still just as powerless as always. That's the truth. <laughs> I wonder if there's really any way a pathetic guy like me can help you. Maybe the fan site? That's it! My special power lies in running the fan site. I don't want it to be about public relations anymore though. First and foremost, that site needs to be a safe haven for people in serious trouble. After all, that happened after all that happened with to me with Kamoshida, I know how hard it can be to speak out against injustice. So, as long as there are voices crying out to the Phantom Thieves, I'm gonna help them be heard. Mishima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. That a boy, Mishima. Rank seven. What? I thought I was on eight. <laughs> fan. All right. We're now a fanboy. At any rate, we should just forget about going after Akiyama Kun, okay? I'm still worried about some of the rumors I've heard about him, but I'll do some more research. By the way, he's not as bad a guy as he pretends to be. Apparently, he's super sweet to his girlfriend. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They've been talking about getting married even since back in middle school. 
I'm honestly kind of jealous. Well, see you later. Anyway, I'll see you later. I love Mishima. Oh, either? The thing I mentioned about Akiyama-kun turned out to be true. It wasn't just some rumor. I found a post on the fan site by a girl who I assume is Akiyama-kun's girlfriend. It says she's worried because her girlfriend's- her- her- Sorry, I just lesbian truth him. Or her. Gosh, I'm all messed up. <laughs> it says she's worried because her boyfriend's been hanging out with some sketchy guys. Acting strange, too. It seems like enough evidence to make him a target, but I'm gonna look into this a little further just to be safe. It's your time to shine. Yeah, leave it to me. We can't ignore any cry for help on the fan site. Uh -huh. Even I didn't realize the fan site meant this much to me. Thanks, Aether, for helping me get here. <laughs> okay, let's keep up the good work. Bye! Mishima's confidant is so good. Really? <laughs> shogi, that's a grandpa-ass game to get into now. Nah, it's back in fashion. There's a lot of young shogi pros out there right now. I've been following Hifumi Togo. She's incredibly skilled for a high school student, not to mention pretty. She hasn't played much lately, though I heard she practices alone in a church somewhere. She plays shogi in a church? I don't get it. Seems strange. Hey, hey. Did you hear that? That girl sounds familiar. Right. Yeah, she must be the same one Yusuke mentioned earlier. I didn't realize she was a famous shogi player. Good morning. Oh, good morning, either senpai. We're lucky that. This is a nice day out today. <laughs> I was worried I'd miss morning training with the meet coming up. But if you're here, then I should still be safe. Kiss you, Lee. Okay. Okay, I gotta go check on the dogs. They're barking at something. I will be right back. Listen to the soothing rain music. Okay, I'm back. I have no idea what they were working at. There was nothing out there. So, you know. Dogs being dogs, I guess. Okay, um, let's go start. Uh, Makoto's confidant. Oh. Come here. Beside me. There we go. Hello, Makoto. Hey. All we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Hmm? Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to study in the library, perhaps? Came to see you. Do you have a minute? It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? Yes. Good opportunity to put my bomb with her. There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Yeah, always. Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. 
I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. What do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. That's not true. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way. I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Um. Oh gosh, any of these th these places. Let's do the arcade. Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. It'll be a field trip. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. <laughs> well, let's get going. All right. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Damn right. Hey, over there. You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. Want to try it? I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? Sure. I did it. <gasps> no way. Makoto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice that. Oh, so this is how it is. Oh, what did you think? Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. You're so sharp. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent. Oops. You know... Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. Well, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. You still have much to learn. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. Of course. I can sense a strong resolve from Makoto. have been people who obstructed your actions as the phantom thieves you managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies isn't that right I am, I am thou thou art I thou hast acquired a new vow 
but shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh the chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay, so she's the priestess. Who the heck's the empress then? Rank one. As you see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. All right. Yay, high priestess. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Okay. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. Let's go again sometime. Yes. Good idea. After all, there's clearly plenty more that there's clearly plenty of more I can learn from. But before that, we should go to the red light district, like we discussed before. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. See you. Rain, huh? I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Oh, Kawakami. Kiwai. Oh, it's only oh yeah. something real quick. Let's see if that slight drop in bitrate helps with the, the issues. Oh, it's a catchy. Okay, it seems like it's more consistent now. Nope, never mind. What the hell? Why is it dipping? Hmm. We are doing some. Live. Um. Uh, you know. Tech tech work. I don't know what the issue is. Hiding both face and mind. Afraid for you to try. Um Well, I guess we're just gonna have to bear with it. Let's <sighs> hang out with Kawakami, I suppose. This is Becky. Thanks for calling me on this rainy day. Oh, hold on. It's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. 
I request- I'll provide my services for 5,000 yen. Request fee included. So you request me today, right? Right? Yes. Hey. Okay. Thank you so much! Yay! I love you, master! Okay, I'll come up. I'll come over there right away! Hey. So, master. I want to provide more services for you. Oh, this is getting weird right off the bat. What are you scheming? Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything. Meow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to get requested more. I'm really good at giving massages. Meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. <laughs> Well, how was that? The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey lady who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an ex expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for- Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master? Master, would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> really? I'm gonna take your word for it. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you both know you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead, I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just such a I'm such a terrible maid. I feel Kawakami's kindness. <laughs> that, that was pathetic. <laughs> All right. uh, I had to so... confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. Why did you lie to me? I can't request get requested unless I make up these types of those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with such a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Huh, <sighs> let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. Man. Again today. Onoshiro's deadline Two more is days. Ahead. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. We're fine. As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. <laughs> you say so then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. I believe in us. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, today is Tanabata, the star festival. Not like that means I'll put up bamboo decorations and write my my wish on a piece of paper though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, but there's a traditional food associated with Tanabata, just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Do you know the answer? All right, Takamiki-san. Tell me what is tell me what is traditional Tanabata food. I'll give you a hint. It's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! Hi, Lady Anna's obviously panic. Be a good... Panicking, be a good guy and help her out. Traditional food? Counting on you. Oops. I didn't. So Tanapod is about gods crossing the starry sky to reunite once every year. It might have something to do with... The Milky Way? Oh, yeah, they gotta cross the Milky Way to get to each other. So if the traditional food is something inspired by the Milky Way... Pedo candies? Not sure what to do with them. Milky Way. 
so many noodles. Yeah, I can see that. The Milky Way is like a long white bundle of them, right? Yes! The traditional food of Tanapata's gotta be so many noodles. This is it. That's correct. That's right. The traditional food for Tanabata is so many noodles. Originally in China, they ate a baked good that we call Sakube in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, that pronunciation went, sak went from sakube to sakumen to solmen, a wholly different food. Going with the theme of cal calming demons, solmen on Tanabata is sometimes called demon guts. Go restore your strength with some seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Thanks! Thanks for your help, Ren. Nice going! Nice! Lady seems really relieved! Yay. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. We're gonna ignore the fact that that took twice to figure out. It's fine. Two. <gasps> Kasumi. Makoto. Yusuke. Takemi. I still need to do her thing. Kasumi. Let's go. Hang out with. Uh, we gotta do one of these two. Let's do Yusuke. Cause I started him first. Hmm. All we have to do have to do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. By the way. Meanwhile, I'm here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? Came to see you. <laughs> Ah, huh, you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. I would like to speak with you about the the painting I developed in Mementos. Do you have time? Yes. Let's hang out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do not find it too disturbing. Wait for me at LeBlanc. I will f bring the painting over there. Okay. Please hear me out. Ren, this is the completed draft the completed form of my draft earlier. I would like for like your honest opinion, if you would. It's enigmatic. Yes. Hmm, as it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture de desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos for it. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Ren, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my sunburnt art career. I can't wait. Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally re revealed to the general public. Give me just a second.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer a call. Um, okay. Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. Hmm, I'm sure this is this will be a most s sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. <gasps> I feel like my bomb Yusuke is growing deeper. Thank you. All right. I love you, Yusuke. Hmm. I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. Did you say something? Okay. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. No. Farewell. I saw Yusuke off to the station. Anytime, Yusuke. You just dial my line. I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was even able to come up with a new interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, leave it to me. Your presence stimulates my senses. Stimulates my senses? <laughs> I look forward to seeing what other inspirations may come. I can hardly wait to hear about hear back about the public exhibition, so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. <laughs> Stimulate my senses. I love him. Ah, you're back. Okay. Oh, let's go and uh um talk to Chihaya. Oh. Oh, you're Aether-san from the other day, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny as I recall. Please take a seat. <laughs> you want to pur purchase a holy stone, huh? For just 100,000 yen, you can change your fate. Mm. For that much, it better not not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. If you do end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. Well, what do you want to do? I'll buy one. Thank you very much. Here you go. Holy stone. Man, in the original game, that sucked. It's the same thing to do. It's a sit. It's the smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with a happiness aura, so you, you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Goodbye. I should head home. Ah, you're back. Oh, you're home. I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Hey, hey. Last time we went to that fortune teller, teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy... Ow, what the heck? Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, Ren? I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Hey, do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The stone shattered! What's gotten into you? Whoa. Huh? This tastes... salty! Hey, the holy stone is just salt! Ren, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me, I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. Oh, don't worry, I've got you covered now. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm, I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is, help you, is supposed to help you get better at cooking. The fortune teller tricked us. What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? We could have bought loads of fatty tuna with that money. No way. So that holy stone is really just a phony stone in the end. That fortune teller's name is Chihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. We need to go complain to her. It turns out the holy stone I bought was from, from Chihaya was a fake. 
I should go talk to her and try to figure out her true intentions. Um, you're gonna want to look at this. Hey. You don't have any books to read. Just got a daydream. Okay. Maruki. <gasps> on! We can max out on! In that case... Actually, I don't have to worry about that yet. I'll do it after this. Yay! We can finish up on! We'll just have to wait for now. I guess now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Hey, are you free today? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We will hang out. Thanks. I have a magazine shoot today. It's a, it's a special one on me and Mika. Up close and personal with two popular models. I want you to be here, be there for it. It's over at Seaside Park. Let's go. Seaside Park. Odaiba Seaside Park features a scenic ocean view and modern train station. Intimate date spot. The Ferris wheel by the sea makes for a breathtaking day over the city. All right. You can now go to Odaiba sea pa Seaside Park. And don't pull a stunt like that again, okay? Okay, I won't. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, uh... Oh, right, you fell victim to it too. Is it okay if I tell her, Mika-chan? Yeah. Do you remember a while back when a bunch of models weren't showing up to our shoots? Oh yeah, I remember. Well, apparently Mika-chan was, was posing as our agency and telling them the shoot locations changed. We had heard rumors that she might have been doing it, but we thought people were just jealous of her. I mean, the shoots she filled in for were r really boosted her popularity. Anyway, I asked her about it today, and all she had to say was, I'm sorry. What I did was really terrible. I caused so much trouble for everyone. But I'm gonna start working even harder from now on, I promise. Ugh. <sighs> anyway, let's get started. You're ready to go, right? Yep. You really did something that lame? What are you calling lame? This industry is overflowing with models. Without an in, your career will never even get off the ground. Chances don't come to those who wait. You have to make your own luck if you want to succeed. You really are something. It's your own fault for getting the boot. If you can't crawl your way back up, you may as well go home. And either way, it's not like I'm not talented. I just needed my shot, and now I'm sounding like crazy. You talk big, but they still found out about your fake emails. Sure, but all I had to do was offer a TNC apology. It would have been dumb to try and hide it from them. Anyway, they can't sack me now. I'm gonna get even more popular, even if it means being detested for my actions. <laughs> You're just like the villains I used to admire when I was a kid. Beautiful, strong, and wicked. Honestly, I just can't bring myself to hate you. Well, I don't have any trouble hating you. Sorry, Mika, but your hard work is only going to get you to second place. I'm going to be the number one model. You might be more popular right now, but I'll take that spot from you fair and square. Hmm. Alright then, I won't pull any more tricks. I'll beat you with beauty, fair and square. Of course. Sounds good to me! The photo shoot started. Ana and Mika are both beaming at the camera. Yeah, that's it. This way. Hey, isn't that Mika? Wow, she's even prettier in person. It's Mika! Oh, and on too! They're both so cute! What must they eat to have bodies like that? The world is so unfair. They might have some natural beauty, but they've got to be exercising to have those bods. Wow, what a pose. Give me a few more, just like that. Something's changed in Anchan, huh? Yeah, she's really amped up the sexiness. Maybe she gains some confidence. Alright, let's take five here. Go get changed, Mika-chan. <laughs> Man, this is so much fun! Today has been really great so far. So, how was I? Um, you really gave it your all. <laughs> well, yeah. I had to work extra hard with you watching, Ren. Um. I know I said I want to be the number one model, but I'm okay with that not happening just yet. For now, I just want to keep improving one step at a time. Then someday down the line, I'll be able to look at myself with pride. 
Hopefully people will see the co that confidence and draw strength from it. I'm going to be a ray of light for the people of this planet. Just like you and Shiho are for me. You can do it, on. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Thanks. Ren, you're my light. Aw, that's so cute. Alright, break time's over. Anchan, you're going to be the main focus for this session. Got it. Hey, let's hang out a little more once the shoot ends, okay? Short thing on. Mm. On seems to be thinking about something. Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone, but I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Of course. Mm -hmm. You can lean on me too, if you need it. I will. Good. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. You think so? I'm so glad I met you. I feel a strong bond between me and On. Our first rank 10, and it's on! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. But thy bound shall break the wings of a rebellion and break it by a yoke of thy heart. Oh gosh. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. Rank 10, Second Awakening. She gets a new persona now! No more Carmen. And now fuse Ishtar, the most powerful persona of the Lover's Arcana. Goodbye, Carmen. I love you. Mwah. Look at her. Carmen has transformed into Hecate. I love Hecate's design. She's so cool. Although I really love Carmen, though. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop counting on you. After all, you're an eternal member of my fan club. Hell yeah. Eternal? It means forever. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Anyway, let's eat before our food gets cold. Time to dig in. Itadakimasu! Okay. Evade ice. Um. Let's do... Oh, I can't look at it yet. Um. Wait, yeah. Let's get rid of Augie. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of, get rid of Firebreak, as if I don't also have Augie Lao, so I don't need Augie. Ah, you're back. Yay, I first confidant. The deadline's tomorrow. You gonna be okay? The pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. That is, if we're able to trust what Kanashiro said. Don't say just such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. He may still end up re released from po police custody. For real? That is, unless they have decisive evidence like a confession. It'll be fine. True, there does seem to be some movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance that the police have found their breakthrough. Oops. Ooh, does that mean it happened? The timing is perfect. I guess let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. Kami, Fumi, Mishima. Yeah, let's do Mishima. I have another re report to make. Do you have a bit of time? Yeah, you want to meet up? Yeah. Thanks. Sorry to bug you when you're busy. 
Oh, you can tell that he's had a change of heart because he apologized. Oh, either. I've been waiting for you. I have more I want to say about how, how I'm helping you guys. On, let's, let's go somewhere close then. Sorry. Sorry, one sec. That was from Akiyama-kun. He said he wants me to stop by. Apparently he's pretty close. It sounded serious. Um, I don't think we should ignore him. Can you come with me? Yeah. Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh, Akiyama-kun? Mishima? Ah, there's our guy. Look, Akiyama-kun said he's not going to be able to pay up for this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? Friends? Huh? You guys ain't friends? Don't try and mess with us, Akiyama. Is this, if, is this loser supposed to be the friend who was going to help you? If you don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama, I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're just gonna have to go have a nice chat with that girlfriend of his. Please, no. I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. Now she's gonna be the one to pay us back, if you catch our drift. This is just what you get for trying to screw us over. <laughs> You're so cruel, Yuda-kun. Akiyama-kun. Either run. I'm not leaving. <laughs> are, are you sure? I don't want to get you involved. Though having you here is definitely reassuring. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it might just work. If anything happens to me, take care of Akiyama-kun, Aether. <laughs> hey, you guys! Crap, I bit my tongue. <laughs> huh? You're still here? Run away, you idiot! Uh, uh, um, you'd better lay off Akiyama-kun. I've been having a video of this whole convers- I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama-kun or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the pri police. Gosh, I cannot read. Oh, and don't get any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. H hey, what should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of a stupid little video. Why don't you run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. Mm. Urgh. Believe in yourself. Hey there, you're right. Uh? What the hell? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted given your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? It doesn't matter now. Just leave Akiyama-kun alone and we'll be even. Then if you keep your word, I'll delete the video. The backup too. You'll delete them now. N no Uh, Yudakun? Shh. I've had enough of this shit. <sighs> Man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. My whole act would have broken down if they didn't back off when they did. <laughs> I really suck, huh? You're super cool. Hmm? Y you think? Even if I peed in my pants a little? <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> the truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking by me, either. We can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what make made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site to make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. Mishima seems extra motivated. <laughs> Rank eight. Woo! All right. Yay! <sighs> Akayama-kun, are you okay? It looks like they really laid it on you. Mishima, why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. Sorry. Oops. It looked like you were really in trouble though, so I stopped up. Is that so? Anyway, can you walk? Do you need us to call an ambulance? I'm fine. Just go. Oh. All right. Come on, either. Well, see you later. See you later. Oh boy.
Oh, Aether? Sorry, are you okay to talk right now? The, the panic is finally kicking in. I'm shaking so bad. I need to talk to someone. Absolutely. Hey, you think I'll be okay? What if those guys secretly followed me home? Oh, but but I have the model gun I got for self-defense. And my security system's top of the line. So I'm safe, right? You'll be fine. Where does all that confidence come from? Oh, but I do, f do you feel a little calmer now. Now that I got to talk to you about it. Anyway. Ugh, I'm so exhausted. I wish I could just crash, but I've got to do some research on these guys. Ugh, and I have to mod the fan site too. It's looking like another all-nighter. <laughs> Thanks for listening though. All th through all that though. Okay, see you. Goodbye, Aki- Er, oh my gosh, I almost called you Akiyama. Bye, Mishima. <sighs> Police sirens. You know what that means. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Today's the deadline. Gosh, there's so many. Oh, man. It's so hot. Did you catch the news report this morning about the mafia boss getting busted? Apparently someone scattered calling cards all across Shibuya just before his arrest. Remember the Kamashita scandal? They say the same same thing happened, that someone left a calling card. Monorime too, if I'm not mistaken. You think it's the Phantom Thieves? If so, I'm impressed. I can't believe they actually steal hearts. Well... No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. yes, yes. He's absolutely right. right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> yeah, now we're now. Oh. The Phantom Thieves. Uh oh. Damn it. Uh oh. Now everyone. I heard the leader of the crime ring that was causing trouble in Shibuya got caught. It seems like some of our students have been victimized by them, so we can breathe easy for now. I'm thankful for, to the police for arresting the perp, even though they're just doing their job. By the way, perp is a police slang. Is police slang? You might have heard the stars in police. You might have heard the stars in police procedurals say it. It's short for perpetrator. Speaking of stars, can you answer this question, either san Give me an answer. The sum of angles A through E is the same as the sum of interior angles of a certain shape of a certain shape, 180 degrees. Do you know what that shape is? Triangle. This is it. Very good. That's correct. The sum of interior angles of a triangle will always equal 180 degrees when it is planar. Yeah. Nice going. I remember that from math class. By the way, there are rumors that the Phantom Thieves took down the perp this time, Kanashiro. I remember their name with that bit of mod on Matarame as well, as the incident in May. Is this a new urban legend? Anyway, please prepare for your test starting Wednesday, and don't be distracted by rumors like that. Yep. Looks like we've succeeded in changing Kanashiro's heart. A lot of people are talking about the Phantom Thieves too. Ooh. Yeah. Making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look, it's all coming together for us. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Obviously. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Oh. Hello? Oh. It's Makoto. 
apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. Oh no. There's no need to worry though. More importantly, there is a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. All right. Oh, what did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. We'll see you soon, Makoto. Who is that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! <laughs> well, I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine. No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kanashiro said towards the end? Um, another metaverse user. Again. Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. <laughs> yeah, as far as we know. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. <laughs> what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. Mm -mm. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Celebration! Good idea. We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too. True. By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. Are we surprised? So we can count you out then, Morgana. Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. Uh... What's wrong? Hello. I hope you remember we have finals <laughs> next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. <laughs> now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no El hombre calvo. Principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible. Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hell yeah, you go, Makoto. Hey, we're not done here. It's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... <laughs> he got hung up on. Damn it. <laughs> Over for you. I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? 
I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Damn, okay. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. Damn! So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Makoto. Nor the negativity. Uh, you're back. How are things going? You seem to be keeping on the straight and narrow so far, but that doesn't mean you can just slack off with summer on the horizon. Got it? Yes, sir. This reaction is incredible. I'm honestly shocked to see it. It is only natural that people are surprised. Even the police are struggling to catch him. Yeah, by the way, you said you were called in by the principal? Did something happen? It was regarding my investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him I was unable to find any information. Thank you, Makoto. Don't mention it. I've graduated from my role as an exemplary honorary honor student. From now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. What are you going to do now? Want to stay with the Phantom Thieves? That's my intention, assuming it wouldn't be any trouble. Welcome aboard. It'd actually be a big problem if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It would be greatly, uh, greatly convenient. Well then, I hope I can continue getting along with all of you. An advisor, huh? All right. Your teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. Hey. What are you planning on doing about that fortune teller? She scammed you out of a hundred thousand yen, right? Unfortunately. In the base game, or when I first played this game, that sucked so bad because I had barely scraped by a hundred thousand yen, and I bought that, and then it turned out to be a scam. I'm like, I'm broke now! All for the sake of a confidant? <laughs> okay. Oh no. He was... Catchy. Man! I guess we hang out with Kawakami. It's Becky! Just kidding. Just kidding. I told you this already, but I've been deceiving you. Sorry again. So stop spending your money on me. Got it? What? Are you serious? Fine, I'll be right there. You have to, I'll have to keep teaching you until you understand. Jeez. Are you serious? I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money and you still request me? Um, it's fun. Huh? Are you an extreme masochist or something? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet, you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So... The money is actually... an apology. There was a student named Ta Ta Takase at the school I taught at before, Shij before Shijin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him, to transfer to another school. 
but when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Tuk Takasekun. How terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared, scared of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me. So I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takasai-kun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve and it had been pouring rain all day. And he died in a car crash. He sounded do so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I'd kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. Takase kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working at all his part time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. I would have. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching, no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money, so they wouldn't sue me or anything. Um, you okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back. But it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with their arrangement, so... Mm. See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because... I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. Too late now. Hey there, Kun. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers, so you get free periods with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. I feel like my relationship with Kawakami has deepened. Rank five. Free time. All right. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm gonna put more energy into it than usual today. <coughs> <laughs> oh my, this room is so dusty. Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to keep earn my keep. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh, wow, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe we'd be better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby, I mean, chicness of this room is to truly its charm, so let's keep it as it is. Alright, I have to go. Thank you so much. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master. Da -da -da -da. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. <sighs> that is so soul draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point making sales calls this late anyway. By the way, I've always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around the place. Do you get to eat that place's curry every day? Um, curry is all I eat. Wow, lucky you. Meanwhile, I'm over here with discount side dishes from the supermarket. 
Oh, but I'm not jealous. Nope, no envy over here. <laughs> Sorry, can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I'll always be ready and waiting for Master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late. Night. Bye, cow, Kami. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, that's right, because we uh, reached the target date. Who's next? Don't be ridiculous. Uh oh. This new ally you gained was Makoto. Just oh. tell me the truth. You already know the truth. Makoto. That's preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Ask her yourself. Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. And did what Kanashiro might that be? really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the phantom thieves? Yep. Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. Take it how you will. <laughs> But why would you fabricate such an elaborate? There are two possible. But why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? Abilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? I have no reason to lie. Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? Then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Hand on Bible. Is that acceptable? I have made a deal with Sainijima. I, I am thou. Thou, thou art I. I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It which shall become, become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the, With the birth of the judgment persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And so we start the confidant with the sigh. All right. You've unlocked the judgment confidant. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. Man, we're only halfway through this. <laughs> they targeted your group first, didn't they? The identity of your opponent is this. Medjid. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. So it begins. Summary of the story. Up to this point has been changed. Oh goodness. Hey, you're there, right? Come downstairs. Oh, what's up, Papa? Papa Ka Papa Soji. <laughs> hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Okay. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right. Not cute. <laughs> that was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving this door to you. Okay. Lock up for me if I don't come back. Okay. Got it. I owe you one. <laughs> what a handful. <laughs> Just who exactly is that, Sojiro? And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kanashiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. 
You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madarame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Hell yeah, the old people so get it. Too, dearie. The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Of course they're not. See, even he says that they're doing good. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually. There is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that oh, there he goes. Standing in front of his panoramic Japan picture. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, we'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a select few are worthy of changing. Oops. Ryuji. Hey, it's me. Where you at? What you doing? Watching the store. Gotcha. We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you know what. See ya. Uh. What's up? We're here to hang out. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. <sighs> why am I here too? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. That's right. Even you're saying such things? Uh, duh. Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, Tell yourself. That's that's terrible. Down with all adults. Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, it's not as bad as this guy's though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like a heart you want to change? That's the secret. Ah, oh, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exams? <laughs> Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I I'm just joking. Please teach us. <laughs> hmm. What was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Agoraphobia? Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Ugh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm going to use it in the future. <laughs> when it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. 
Oh. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then, by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. <laughs> How are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. The wind's blowing in our direction and everything. No I time like means two weeks. Right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. <laughs> now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me, the celebration party. Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. Oh, the last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. <laughs> Still, I demand that we feast during the festival. Did it just well. cut itself off? Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? <laughs> Will you wear a vig? You think so too, right? It's a great idea. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am, Makoto. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Fireworks in Yukatas. Guess it's that time of the year. Hey, so there's this dangerous, almost psychotic blog I found that hasn't ended up on the forum yet. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. That's all it says. Rumor has it she's been she's talking about her boyfriend. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> eh, it's fine. Yeah, it seems like she'll do something real bad someday, right? And it gets even worse. As it turns out, she's a Shujin student. You know a girl named Yumiko Mogami? She's always up near the classrooms on the second floor. Oh. I didn't get to finish that. <laughs> this is a good opportunity for us. Kaneshiro's change of heart has probably opened up some deeper parts of mementos. Let's make a... I don't know what that said. <laughs> okay. Let's make some time and talk about it at the hideout. Okay. And do I have something else that I can put here? No. Okay. Hey. You got exams coming up. Are you going to study? Aren't you going to study? Jibri is fucked. Oh. 
a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. <laughs> All the good, interviews good. these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? What do you mean? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown. He has bad his stomach. People change suddenly and cause strange accidents or horrible crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the phantom thieves are doing? I guess to an extent. I think about it. Their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. <laughs> see you soon, Akechi. Hopefully we can hang out soon. Mm. Yeah, it's even more packed than usual today. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Shibuya crime ring reveals all. The leader's confession has led to the arrest of other key members. I I don't like that we don't get an actual confession from Kanashiro. Sudden rampage, highway accident. Sudden rampage? Highway accident. The driver the driver's death. The driver's death has been confirmed, taking the, the total count up to four. Hot spots of Tokyo. Come see the Summer Fireworks Show on July 18th. Day after my birthday! I see. Thanks to Kanashiro spilling the beans, that organization has fallen like a house of cards. <laughs> We're getting more and more famous. Oh, Mark. Okay, let's get started. Tests are coming up. Everyone's studying. I know some of you rely on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. That really messes up your re information retention. Oh, speaking of, do you guys know the difference between short-term and long-term memory? Hmm. The simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary than textual, but long-term memories stuck stick with you. In the short term, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information. But your brain's capacity for long-term memory is huge. It might even be infinite, according to some theories. Okay, so, Edukun, what do you think about all this? Short-term memories only stick with you for seconds at a time. That said, how long do you think you can re retain long-term memories? Um, so he wants to know how long you keep long-term memories, huh? This is a tricky one. What is long-term memory anyway? Memories that last a long time. Yeah, it was something like that. So anyway, you keep them for a long time. The question is, how long? Maraki mentioned something about the amount of memories you could store, right? Something like... Infinite. Yeah. If you have theoretically infinite space for them, then theoretically you'd be able to retain them for... Forever. Yeah, I think so too. So that's it. Long-term memories will never really fade away. That's right. That's right. I'm impressed. Basically, stuff encoded into your stuff encoded into your long-term memory never really goes away. Short-term memories become long-term memories through re reiteration. It'd be great if you could encode all the desk answers to long-term memory, huh? Oh well, can't always get what you want. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect nice that. Boy. I'm on a roll. I'm the greatest. <laughs> But at least you've got summer break once the exams are over. So, do your best to study, okay? Yeah, memories never really go away. That means I'll remember my past eventually, right? It makes me curious about, like, amnesia and stuff. 718, Marine Day. Finals end on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? The fireworks festival! You're really quick to look up stuff like that. Impressive, Ryuji. It's easier to work when you got a goal in mind, yeah? Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about those things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you listening? <laughs> oh no. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Feel a murderous intent. No that was an epic dodge. Yep. <laughs> I got the entire class's attention because I'm cool. Hey, Renku.
Kun. Heading home? It's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember the counseling Dr. Maruki's offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading to the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. The teachers say he's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than just talent. Hmm. Maybe I should find out for myself at some point. Mm, what about studying? <laughs> Naturally, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Oops, what did that say? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? <laughs> I'm joking. What? But make sure you study well, alright? Yes, ma'am. Alright then. I need to buy some more test prep book booklets on my way home. See you later. Bye, Makoto. Nice just senpai. chat. Oh! Hey there, Senpai! What a pleasant surprise! Oh. Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. Oh. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Uh, yeah, I've got time. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Yeah. Huh? Oh! Hi, Akechi. you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? You know each other? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. Oh. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's oh, I'm how sure. I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. Uh, yeah, she's my friend. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. No way! Congrats! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Yay! Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. <laughs> that would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? Yeah. That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Ooh. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? To prevent my body from getting too cold since the meat's coming up rather soon i see you make sure you're covering all your bases so what do you have a catchy good point <laughs> some people say coffee can cool you off even when hot so i try to avoid that too i had this image that you enjoy sweet things a san is that untrue i swear i saw you eating fried sweet bread on tv just the other day it's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. <laughs> I feel lied to. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is Bro, we literally ate cake awesome. together on a date. Just how innocent you seem to be. Not fair. I've been wondering, <laughs> how do you two know each other? We're uh, rivals. The set of the TV show I appeared on. That's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. <laughs> I can definitely see that. Meaning I caught his attention. His take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Ooh. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, 
My question was, mm. what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. Oh. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population, but I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. Well, yeah. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. That is very interesting. Let me ask you then. What do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? Um, how's that for? I have to agree. It was quite inspiring for myself as well. Oh, you two with the Wait, same brain. Could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. It's a little shitster. I love him. <laughs> Sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you. Oh. Well then, see you later. Bye, Kasumi. Bye, Kachi. What a riveting conversation we've had. Ah, you're back. I see you had your friends over for a study session, huh? How do you know? Nothing gets by me. I own the place, remember? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. Oh. This game is such a downer. I'm already bummed about tests coming up. I'm in trouble f for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we can make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Wanna study together? Um... Go start my Hifumi? No, I need to start Chihaya's. Because hers is very important for helping max out confidence. Hey, inmate. I can get rid of Parvati. And, uh... Get... Um, hmm, let's see here. Which persona should I get now? Oh, he's only rank four. Um, so Gathion is almost gone too, because he's almost maxed out. Um, I need to go to Mementos and max out to Kemi, and then Thanatos will be gone. Um, I'm almost done with Mishima, so I don't need- well, and his doesn't need that anyway. Um, his doesn't need it, hers doesn't need it. Um, I don't know if hers needs it or not. I don't remember. Um, I think for now I'm gonna get an emperor persona. You'd like to read that these are the paths you have walked. Arcana. Press emperor. King Is Frost. This what you want? You'll withdraw this for this is your power. That's a lot of money. Holy. Are you finished? What? I'm gonna go back. No slacking off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
You see the news? The fan of these work their magic and get that mafia gotta give it up. Hey, careful with how you say things. You got such a dirty mind, you know that? Look who's talking, less than after a boy at least 20 years younger than you. Oh, lay off. I can't help it. Besides, it's not really me if I'm not in love with somebody, right? Intriguing. Mm, she's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. You want to eavesdrop on them? Yes. Um. How are you healing? I I'm fine. It's my fault. It's my fault anyway. You said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with them. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But but the only person that cares. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask Thero. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. W what kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and you will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Uh, arrested? Gosh, I hate it. I knew I shouldn't have let you throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? W what? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay in, in up to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right, it would make our jobs way easier if we could really change someone's heart with the holy stone. It's clear that Jihaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Ren, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? Hmm? Meowing? What? Uh, hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. Um... That stone won't help her. That's not true. You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. Gosh, why does it do that? The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human method methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you brought an bought another holy stone. Mm. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What is your boyfriend's name? Huh? His full name is Yuya Uchimura. Uchimura. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Uh, yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm going to change fate. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. Excuse me? It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to p pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? Uh, you! What do you think you're doing? If you keep making fal false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. Hmm? You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm, I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a t horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error of your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Oh, there's another one. Um, I think today we should go to Mementos.
meat loving male student. Hey, did you know there's gonna be a summer festival in Odaiba? A summer festival, huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's hot out that we ate all that meat. Come on, let's go check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Hmm. A summer festival, hmm. huh? You think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, you you should worry about finals first. Once those are over, I'll be so it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. Okay. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm so glad the Phantom Thieves are all over the news. Yeah, they've really taken off since the whole Kamashita thing. The Legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. We're practically one of them. And who can't relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults up to no good. The police should take notes. Quiet down. People sure are making a fuss, even though it's right, right before exams. Behind Kamashio's arrests are the Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes, changes people's hearts. If I recall, there were similar rumors back during that business with Kamashita-kun. Help the weak and crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of the Gentleman Thief. In the long history of humans, the Gentleman Thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Now then, please look at this picture. Eitherkun. This picture depicts the final moments of Ichi Ichikawa Goemon. He did something during this Sengoku period that had him and his family boiled to death. Do you know what he did? Favorite? This is it. Correct. That's correct. Ishikawa Goemon is, is Japan's most famous thief. He's very popular, and some called him a gentleman thief. By the way, the Goemon bath comes from his name. Only stealing from the rich and powerful, and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many of many forms of media, like kabuki and novels. Wow, really? He's so smart. Well, there's all the personas so far. We've had Captain Kid, Carmen, Arsene, Goemon, and Johanna. However, it's actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a gentleman thief. Rebellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed, Propaganda by the government to sully his name. The gentleman thief Goemon may be more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and gentlemen thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Let's make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. But before that, we need to study for the exams that are starting tomorrow. Oh, Mariki. It's open. Come in. Oh. Welcome. Oh, you're the student council president, Yijima san, correct? Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. Oh no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still choose to do it on my own. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. But please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, yes. Uh, right. So I shall. Oh, well. What did that say? Huh, <laughs> you're sounding more like the counselor in here than I am. I see. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yes, but it's nothing major. I've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea taking on more of a burden than one should. You surely do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. Hmm. Adults, you should be protecting me? Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? <sighs> uh, you live alone with your oldest sister, I see. Pardon my saying so. 
but it seems you've been through quite a lot. What? Honestly, it only felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult guardians has to have been hard on my sister, even now as well. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Do you still remember them? Your parents? Yes. Hey, so Not as much as my mother, admittedly, but my father without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may well have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? And are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Oh. It's not as much as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon well. Of course, I never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost will never come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. Hmm, I like the way you put that. No one can ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards our goal, our future. Should anything come up that you want to help with, I'll be there to support you, though my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the kind words. Hey. Hope we're ready for exams. I'd be pretty sad if the leader of the Phantom Thieves got bad grades. Hey. hey, we can't let the abuse case go undressed. The par target should be in memento, so let's hurry up and deal with him. Yummy. Yeah, let's go to Mementos. Hey, we're all here. I actually got a bit of time to spare right now. But man, this place is way too damn hot. Your request. Today seems like a perfect day for us to go into Mementos. Let me check our intel. We'll start with this one first. This intel is an online stalker burning with jealousy because the man she loves has been taken away. It seems she's a Shujin, Shujin student. Her delusions are really getting out of hand. She's even writing how she's going to kill them. If we don't stop her, she might actually do it. We need to figure something out before that happens. Okay. Fine by me. There are still more. This intel is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend. This man named Uchimura has assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be badly hurt if left alone. Those fortunes often come true. Fortunes aside, we can't let this guy use violence against her. I don't want her getting hurt. We should change his heart. You can count me in. I agree. It's only natural for us to change the heart of a person like that. Nice. Okay, it looks like we're all ready to do this. I already left the calling card at our target's home. There are still more. This is about that doctor in Yongin Jaya to get me. She's in a real pinch right now. An old boss of hers, Oyamada, is trying to crush her clinic to save herself. Mm -hmm. himself. This is the doctor in Yongin? Shit. This guy is hiding some serious medical mistakes. It turns out he's quite the criminal. Alright, we gotta operate on that dude's rotten heart then. Nice. Okay, it looks like we're all ready to do this. I already left the calling card at our target's home. No objections, right? Hmm, we're good to go if we're if you're okay with it. That's a unanimous decision. Okay, also now, now is to take down the target of mementos. All right, let's go to mementos. Hmm, let us consider our target total. We know of three currently within mementos. Yes, let's go. Come yes, on. let's go into mementos. I can sense some restlessness coming from below us again. Oh yeah, this happened before too. If I'm remembering right, the meta person have. Yep, we got something. Mona, can't you turn into some kind of high-powered radar or something? You know how deep it goes if you could. That's impossible. <laughs> it would be dangerous to wander blindly. 
We simply do not have enough information. Just driving around won't likely do us any good either. Yeah, but the path keeps going forward. We'll reach the depths eventually, I think. Uh, Not again. We could be at it forever. I'm curious about what might have happened. We should go investigate, Joker. Time to work. Let's do this. Why is it not letting me go to the next the next place? Chenda. Yeah, you're just gonna tell me there's no one here. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that canceled it. Man, I wanted to hear what he was talking about with tap water. There's a treasure chest. This one's got a lock on it too. Ouija board. I ain't messing with no ghosts. There's just something sophisticated about this. Yeah. on the inside stop it my stomach cannot take such violent shaking <laughs> this is weird Shadow that Dr. Yamada had. That bastard looks like he's been eating well lately. Hmm. He made a mistake in rushing a drug's development and now intends for his subordinate to take the fall. What a jerk! People might die if we don't change his heart. You know, good doctor will have to quit. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta do something. Let's kick his ass. 
<laughs> everyone is trash. As head of the medical office, I'm superior to everyone. I deserve all your respect. You should be begging me to examine you. Be grateful I have the compassion to fix you, trash. Give it up. Ah, you're that kid who was at Takemi's. So how's she doing? She was so depressed when she heard her patient died. Oh, I'm so worried about her. Poor girl. <laughs> it's been so long since I've felt so exhilarated. Did she quit being a doctor yet? If she hasn't, then tell her she better hurry it up. I won't let her quit. What? You dare talk to me? You're superior like that? Grr, your diagnosis is arrogance with no chance of recovery. I better treat you right away, and I'll blame your death on Takemi messing up again. Okay. <laughs> You're just a monkey. Feel the power of medicine. Go for it, dude. Kicked his ass out of the park. Vital signs diminishing. That's right. Holy cow. That was 1200 XP. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> how come how come I'm not good enough? I want to save people's lives, and I want to do something great and help make medical history. But I'm just a mediocre doctor. I've only gotten promoted because of my university connections. Takemi, though, was so creative. She had all these ideas, and her techniques were extraordinary. Everything I ever wanted, fame, prestige, she earned it in just a few short years. I was jealous of her, that's why I tried to take all the credit for her new job. You're an awful person. Huh. Huh. <laughs> if only there were medication to treat jealousy. Takemi's patient isn't dead. I thought she wouldn't recover, so I moved her to the hospice wing for terminally ill patients. But the patient didn't believe my diagnosis. She ended up transferring to another hospital. Of course, transferring to another hospital makes your own hospital and university look really bad. That's why I made everyone tell the same lie. The patient chose to leave the hospice and then died. She doesn't have much time left, but maybe Takemi could do something about it. Piece of trash. Hey, Oyamata. Sounds like the patient is still alive. I should go tell Takemi about this right away. Onwards. All right. Another case child. What's next? Do we keep exploring? We have two more targets. Right. I can keep. I can keep going. You want to leave? Yes. Coming from the next area. Let's go check that area out. Sensor target somewhere in this area. Shadow. Do you think that's a problem for me? That should be the shadow of the man named Uchimura. He's abusing his girlfriend, right? Didn't your virgin say she's gonna get hurt bad? We can't leave him like this. We need to change his heart, and fast. Okay. This is horrible. Damn it, I gambled away all my money again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Where is she? Get over here so I can beat you. Don't beat your girlfriend. What? Don't you dare lecture me. She's mine. I can do whatever I want with her. 
Beating her is a right that I that only I have. Oh, have you know that she loves it too? Okay, whatever you say. If you want to get in my way, then you're gonna die. I'm gonna punch you too. I'm gonna punch you harder. Good night, bastard. Why'd it turn out like this? Because you suck. Oh, we all leveled up. Holy cow. Makoto's only one level below us. Alright. Level up. That's crazy. Lullaby. Medium chance to sleep all foes. High chance to sleep one foe. Yeah, switch it with lullaby. Da -da -da. This is horrible. I hate it. I hate it when people look at me like I'm just just a bug to them. I could do better. I'm a superior human being. All the people around me just don't get it. Okay. Sleep stick. Mm. Phew! The right to beat his girlfriend? He was really the worst of the worst to think that. We changed his heart, so let's go tell the fortune teller when we get the chance. One more target. Yeah. Well, that's that. One now. You want to keep exploring? How many more targets left in this area? One? Okay. What's our next move, Joker? Okay, I'm good to go. Yes. So far, though, it must be deeper inside. Okay. Let's keep going. Pronounce that, Chung Sam. All this running is making me thirsty. What do you usually drink? Milk? I hope not. <laughs> Back frost. Huh? Gores on this floor. On Meraki? What's that? I wonder if I should. Oh, I do have a hang persona. I wasn't sure if I did or not. And then I can start throwing or getting some of these guys. Oh, Meraki. Oh, him. Okay. Now I can just register personas. gonna be an oh no annoying but easy way to uh, 
you have persona or register personas. Oh good, a rest area. Hey, this place is like a waiting room. Maybe we can chill here for a bit. Gemda area five. Okay, let's rest for a few. And we move forward. Oh, hi Jose. Little egg egg. Oh, Sudama! He's a silly guy. One minute, who's in there? And Jose. Inugami's transistor. I'm so sorry. I wanted to hear that story. <laughs> you just gotta hear the voices. Oh, mister. Hello. Doing good. Mikami's is, is temperance, even though it's the same line. No, wait, no, never mind. Mikami is different from Inugami. Mikami really is <laughs> Inugami's trans sister. You feel different from the ones before. Our goal may be close. Sudama. Oh. Yes, Shaba. 
What is happening? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just pressing buttons. I don't even know who that is. I don't even see. Oh well. Oh my gosh, fighting for my life trying to get that guy in uh, Madarame's palace. I don't know why I said paladin almost. Oh. There it is, Mogami Shadow. She's smirking, that's kind of creepy. Hmm. Her blog is full of all these crazy thoughts. She must be lost in some sort of sick romance fantasy. Shouldn't we do something about it before she can hurt anybody? Okay, let's of course, let's do it. What are your what are you phantom thieves doing? I know why you'd go after Kamoshida, but why me? Uh, hey, I don't blame you for falling in love, but there's a point where it goes too far. You, you're that bitch trying to steal Igazuki Ikez, kun from away from me. What did you say? Who are you calling a bitch? And I'm not interested in Igazuki. Igazuki. What? I don't know. Hmph, you're just a sore loser, hanging out with some lame guys and a funny looking animal. What was that? What'd you just say? You're a teddy bear. Hmm? Funny looking animal? Is she talking about me? This makes me mad. Get her! That was the the stone that broke the, the camel's back, huh? Urgh, just don't get in my way, romance! Oh well. She's strong! I kinda wanna go home. Pow, 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 pow. This power. Level 31. Oh, go ahead, man. What a skill. Automatic Sukukaja. Romance, my passion. I can't believe it was all wrong. What is real love and romance? Shall I show you? Joker, chill. You'll understand someday. Someday? When will that be? What should I do with all these feelings inside me? Just tell them face to face and don't write weird stuff in your blog. You'll take courage though. Thank you. I'm scared, but I'll do it. Please wait for me, Ikazugi kun. Hey, just don't do anything weird. There it is, the treasure. Sticky hairball. Oh boy. Go ahead and open that. It opened. Don't you just feel like the whole world approves of you whenever these things open? For a second. But then I think of how there are more of these walls waiting ahead. Alright, let's get in there. Path of Kaito. 
Oh, the whole ambience changed again. I never realized how creepy the subway system could be. Inside the train, you don't even notice. I agree. Perhaps it is like the darkness in all men's hearts. Always there, never perceived. It's a new area from this point on. Let's be careful heading in. Sensing a lot of flowers here. Let's go back. Because we did all of our targets. Back to the top. Turn the real wood for mementos. Thank you for your hard work. Yippee! Reach Kaitul. Yay. Uh, it's already pretty late. Guess I should head home. Have a good night, Soji. Hey, hey. Alright. Nihonga. Blank cultural artwork. Japanese. In contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced post-1900 using techniques developed within Japan are referred to as Nihonga. Foreigners visiting Japan during the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal tra Japanese translate, which the literal Japanese translate as Nihon and Ga, Japan and artwork. All right. I see. Oh wow! Even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a little smarter. Yep. Okay. Tomorrow is the start of exams. Oh, my plant! Hey, hey. Just a second. Nice. Okay, I gotta go help my mom bring in groceries here in a second, so I will be back and in literally like a couple minutes yes. i'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep and then i will be back in just a second
Take off my 
I had a dream where I went on a train trip with Kawakami. I feel a little closer to Kawakami. Okay. And exams. Oh. Hi, Sup? I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be shit like kebabs, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I'm so pumped. What about- I don't know. Is there nothing but meat? Huh? Well, duh. What else would you want? Oh, man. I can't stop thinking about meat. Piping. Hot, juicy meat. Luigi, you know the sounds, right? <sighs> oh, man. Now I'm hungry. Let's get going already. Exams. <laughs> Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin. If angle C is 28 degrees and angles A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? Okay, so C is 28 degrees. A and D is 88 degrees. 
B and E. So, um, six. 16, so 180 minus 162. Uh, 62. That doesn't look like it'll work. What? Mm. See, ask me questions with tough, but let's come down to get through. Explain the origin of Balzai. Uh, Balzai. Ugh, Balzai in this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. There were, they were invented by that famous guy from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Shu Gei Long. Yeah, the strategies of Shu. I think his story was about a river overflowing somewhere. Shu Gei, Shu Gei Long visited, and they were offering something to quell the river. Barbarian's heads. That's it. A crazy story, and that's how he came up with the Baozi, right? This master strategist came up with the Baozi to. I think you're right. The Baozi were invented as an offering to a river spirit to replace the traditional, the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. You finished in time. Ah, give it up. Eesh. Now everyone. Second day finals. Let me begin. What is the name and genus of the organism? Um, wrecking crab. Ooh, we can do this! Happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time. Uh, government collapsed. That doesn't look like it'll work. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing bad. <laughs> I was too cocky after the first exams. Let's get started. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom raining witches? Cats and dogs. Ooh, we can do this! Which of the following is another name for the soman noodles traditionally eaten on Tanabata? Demon guts. Ooh, we can do this! Last day. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna be top of the class, I don't think, because I missed some, but. Maybe pretty high up. parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there, congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? That's right. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure thing, Marky. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. <laughs> anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like oh, your no. opinion oh, on. Oh, no. Just a second, Marky. Sorry. My chair is trying to eat my cord. Um. Oh, it just auto chose I suppose it. suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately. And I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. Okay. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Mm, they'll be disappointed. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. Very this true. This world really is a callous one. 
No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. You just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. <laughs> what I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Oh. Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. <laughs> I hope you have a good time too, Maruki. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleep and in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. No. Nah, I was up playing video games. <laughs> so I know you're Ryuji. Too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. It might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever. It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the fan thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kind of feels like our time's finally here. I have even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no sure. need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Oh. The scenes will continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. Okay. <sighs> the time just flew by today, huh? It sure did. It always does. Okay. Go to bed. Let's go to bed. So exams are over. Let's get some sleep. Oh. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about that su that summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? Yeah, I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so. Damn it! Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs. Yeah, you were talking about meat, meat, more meat, thick, so juicy like... meat. <laughs> I completely spaced, spaced on until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So, you wanna go? Fine, fine. Yeah. Hell yeah, you need to be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though. Eh, whatever. No, no ways. No way is it gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ryuji. See you tomorrow. <sighs> how would he? How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Oops. Sheesh! All worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Normal simulator. Turn in for the night. Let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. Ooh. What's up? <laughs> mm. well, it, uh, why? why? Why are you staring at my face? 
Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while. Now. Oh, it's the showtime. Bring my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want it. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. <laughs> Same here. I love that Ryuji was the one that suggested they do something together and Yusuke was so baffled and then he's the one that actually tells him about it. As if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? <laughs> Here's Ryuji. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Oh no. A TV crew, huh? Wait, we can't end up on TV. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Of course. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? Uh, uh, let's calm down. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments, so they can't use any of the footage. <laughs> Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? <laughs> uh... Anyway, <laughs> since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, <laughs> say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> Are you ah. certain that they won't air any of it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right, I can bob. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in the sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. It's because we're all together. That's pretty poetic, dude. Friendship bonding. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? The stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping, Jumping the gum. The gun. <laughs> eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water in a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Um, go on ahead without me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, 
Catch you later. Senpai? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Is something wrong? Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. Although that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Kasumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. It may be best to accompany her. Oh, that was delicious. You sure packed it away. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Um, so the meet's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh no. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Uh, that sounds rough. Yes, I've really hit a wall with this. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Really? I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Um... You really are doing your best. Senpai. Thank you for being so thoughtful. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? I suppose okay. so. Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now of course, I anytime. feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. <laughs> the best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. <laughs> Bye, Kasumi. So I need to spend more time with Kasumi. I need to get her confidant done. Ah, you're back. How could you, either? How could I what? If you were going to the summer festival, why didn't you invite me? What did you say? How does Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Oh. Something about it being hot in December? Or saying sweets are to die for? There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. Uh, mission failed. Mission? What are you talking about? Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can I come along too? I'm the Phantom Thieves producer, you know. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I hope Lady Odd and the others haven't found out. Eesh. Here's a commemorative photo from the summer festival. At least that was the idea. <laughs> It's certainly evocative. Well, don't don't let it get to you. Shit happens. It's understandable, given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time we'll make sure we go somewhere you can actually eat. Agreed. I'd prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Uh, that'd just be the diner again. And why not? It's a place of calm where one may also partake of delicious food. I mean, I guess... Man, let's talk about foods got me hungry. A cup ramen would hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high quality bread crusts. Sorry. Sorry I couldn't catch it for you. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. Unfortunate. Oh, that's right, it's Sunday. 
go spend some time with uh, Yoshida. Bye, Ey. Bye, Ey. <laughs> Gotta go get a a persona. Like to read that these are the paths you have walked. I need faith. Holy cow, it's so far down. There we go. This okay. persona? A fee is required, then yeah. accept this persona. Done already? What? Kay. No slacking off. And then let's go hang out with Yoshida. Everyone. Based in civic disorder and economic uncertainty, our citizens are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve this situation and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people currently depend on? Yes, the Phantom Thieves. The fact that they're being lionized is proof that the government is malfunctioning. The mismanagement by authority figures is what he has led us to this terrible condition. Good evening. Oh, Aether Goon. What kind of friends do you spend your time with? You can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you through them. I received a dinner invitation from Dietman Matsushita. He would like for you to come as well. Let me know if you would like to attend. I'd be delighted if you could if you would consider this help consider this as helping with my campaign and joining me. Yes. Right away then. Then I'll make the call. I'll be at the at a hotel nearby. Is this rank six? Kuramoto's been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run to run in the upcoming election. I see. I see. He plans for his grandson, who's also in our party, to take his time. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. Yoshida. Hey, you have to keep eating. You're still growing. You're still growing, you know. I invited you along because I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? You've heard of them, right? They've become quite popular as of late. I'd like to hear your honest opinion. As a young man, are you for or against them? I'm for them. <laughs> you have a very adaptable way of thinking. Most people who want to get into politics are jealous of them. What about you? However, however they manage to change hearts, I respect their belief in crushing evil and saving the weak. Isn't that s similar to what you advocate? You're right. I can't deny that. But that's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Mm. Brave yet pitiful, I suppose. So the former Diet member who was disgraced by scandals is going to side with them, huh? Is this what you asked me here to speak to me about? No, the party has decided which candidates it will it will back in the various electoral zones. Mm -hmm. And one of our main candidates will represent this area, according to the party's election strategy. You have no chance of winning. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a diet member? I won't beat around the bush. Drop out of the election and become a right-hand man. It won't be for naught. I'll put in a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. And I will perform an extensive investigation into your ex... ex Expense misappropriation accusations. What? Matsushita. You'd finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. <sighs> he likely has an ulterior motive. If he felt hopeful, he wouldn't ask me to not run for the diet. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. It happens a lot in this world. What would you do at a time like this, Aether Kun?
I decline. So you're telling me to take control of my destiny, hmm? You're very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't. I won't stop giving speeches. Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Rank six. All right. Let's finish up for today. Sorry I made you tag along. I shall ask you again another time. I'll see you again soon. Sorry I made you tag along today. I'm sure you'll end up having to face something similar someday, so let me share, your, share my thoughts. When people come to you with these negotiations, you need to see what's really on the table. Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'll have your own major decisions to make, in time. The most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. I'll keep that in mind. Good. It's important to listen what other people say, but you can't let them overpower your own voice. I let that happen and look where it got me. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about this. Well then, until next time. Good night. Good night, Yoshida. Oh my gosh, now what? Oh! Hello, Aether Senpai! Thank you so much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. Um... Practice already? Of course! If I rest, it'll dull my, it'll dull my senses. Next time, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear! I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Looks like Yoshizawa's gonna be okay again. Or okay now. Heh, <laughs> sure had us worried. Today's a fireworks festival. Let's meet in Shibuya at 5. Hey Makoto, are you gonna wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think it will wear mine as well. You got one? How about you, Ren? I don't have a yukata. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking you might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without your glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. Fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady Anne will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. So true. Hey, hey. It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with the chief someday. We we can watch them right here in the long. Actually, no we couldn't. Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is ready to, is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? I don't know. Well, let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Fireworks Festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather change is imminent. Be careful of sun shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. It's so hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. 
Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Ah, oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. <laughs> Shut up. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too. Want to go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just <laughs> go with these chicks? No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? <laughs> so those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy. He is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. Uh. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Bro. <laughs> Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Enemy scene. I love them. Yeah, we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. Well, what's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. <laughs> it's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Uh, that's how it should be. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. Man. So you won't tell me, no matter what. Oh. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Oh. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. 
What's wrong? It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. <coughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm hmm? Oh? These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. The Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab given the recent trends, I can't... Obviously, accept. because Thugs they are targeting the Phantom a Thieves. A nuisance? Duh, catchy. Both Mejad and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Uh, I don't. What are they stealing, though? Still having trouble getting that part. <laughs> well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in pal, I Oops. guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. I have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. We gotta talk about Medjid. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Medjid. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjid? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjid is, is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Right? Then it's settled. Our next target's gonna be Medjid. I wonder if the nav will get a hit if we put Medjid in. Oh, right. Let's try it out. That would be impossible. It has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Medjet is. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it though? Even if we did, how would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji? Oh. Hello? It seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. About it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we don't face this shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly, after all. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now, either. Hey, Ren. Let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Let's do that. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. 
Oh. I forgot to post the photo I took today. Aw, look at them. They're so cute. I love that picture. Hey, not bad. Right? I'm natu I'm a natural with this candy photography stuff. I hope for you sake that was intended to be candid photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. <laughs> I wonder who that might be. Yes. Couldn't be me, the prisoner of fate. <laughs> Inter internationally known enemy. I hope we can figure out a good way to fight back. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Medjed. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company's- the subway company server thing? That was Medjed, trying to find out who caused the train train accident. So they're good guys? Ugh, no way. Some liken them to digital Robin Hoods, but they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Oh. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Hey, look at that. Look who got the top score. Oh. Hey. I don't know how. I literally missed points. That's amazing. Everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. Yay. I'm so smart. Busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? That's just the the universal Ryuji experience. It's all right. Right? Anyways, there's something more important here. And Mishima, you want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Mishima. Thanks for everything. <laughs> so, that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima's pretty useless. Do you guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime, after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. There are, re there are really just no leads. Hmm, our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Man. Man. It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week. But I have an unfortunate announcement. Don't say it. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. No. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers oh. to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How are we gonna find Medjed? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kodashiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. 
Did we bite off more than we can chew? They're too big. Yeah. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit too. Oh, what the- Man! <laughs> Freaking Damn, skipping through really stuff. Not going so good. <laughs> <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? <laughs> Uh, if we can't identify who it is, there's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Um, Koto Ryuji on Max. Oh, that's right, I can hang out with Takemi now. Ryuji's not. Let's go with Takemi. I'm on what rank eight with her? Seven? Oops, not that. Seven. <sighs> Is there something you want? I have to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Yes. Why don't we tell Takemi about Ryamada? Talk to her. Hold on a sec. Oh fine. I'll I'll go to you. I'll go to you, so wait there. So, what did you need to talk to talk about? I thought I asked you not to come back here. Oh. Oh, doctor, doctor! And you too! Yes? I wanted to speak with you right away. The hospital was that was on the news is the same one you used to work at, right? Hello? The hospital on the news? Oh dear, I'm afraid everyone was thinking the same thing. But I knew you weren't capable of doing those terrible things. What is it? Uh, what's going on? Oh my, you really don't know, do you? Chief of Staff Oyamata turned himself in. He was manipulating things behind the scenes. Turns out he was the one who made that terrible medical error and laid the blame on his subordinate. Huh? Is that true? It's been on news channels all over the country. I haven't seen it. I just knew something didn't quite add up about that story. I never believed someone like you could have ever done some something like that. Hooray, doctor! But what's a medical error? <laughs> what? Um, it's something that shouldn't be allowed to happen, I guess. What's the meaning of this? Is this all some elaborate joke? Oyamata surrendering himself at such a convenient time. Why? It doesn't matter, it's too late. It doesn't change the fact that I couldn't save her. Ava-chan is alive. What? What? There's no way. Wait. Did the what? news mention anything about the patient involved in the medical error incident? Oh, it must have been difficult for her too. I heard she's been moved to another hospital. What's the matter, dear? Are you okay, doctor? So she's... she's alive. Let's get to work, doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Do you have time? You'll help me, right? I take back what I said. We'll resume development right away. It feels like my bond with Takemi is growing even deeper. <laughs> Rank 8. Alright. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry. We're going to move quickly today, so you may experience some pain during the examination. Sorry, just hang in there, okay? It's for me, Wachan. Thanks. Thank you. You're a good guy. Once the medicine is perfected, I'll introduce you to me, Wachan, and tell her how much you helped. Alright, into the examination review, go. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trials increase my guts. That's all for today. Take care. Oh, hey. Any change in your condition after that last one? 
I pushed you way too hard today. Really, I'm sorry. But I won't waste the opportunity you're giving me. We're gonna make up for our lost time. God, what was wrong with me? I can't believe I spent all that time moping, feeling sorry for myself. Niwa Chan was fighting all that time. I have to fight for her, too. I'll be cheering you on. Thanks. It's honestly encouraging knowing I've got you supporting me. We're so close to making this drug work. I just have to perfect it. Anyways, let's get some good get some good rest today. Remember, you can call me anytime. Okay. Good night. <gasps> Bye, Katakami. Uh, Summer uh, break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. So I looked into Medjed. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjed is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? It, its name apparently means the Smiter. It means nobody is actually, actually sure that Medjed is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. As un, an unseen god that flies through the skies and shoots from his eyes. Okay, he truly is an elusive being. Dude, everything about his existence is shrouded in a mystery. Wait. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. I see. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. <laughs> Ryushi's only confrontations was like two words. <laughs> uh, Kaokami. Still haven't started Hifumi. Uh, catch it? Why, Akechi? Why? I have your persona! Why do you do this to me? Fine, I guess I'll go hang out with Jihaya. Actually, you know what? No. Hey, good evening. I'm in Kishijoji right now. If you've got the time, wanna drop by for a bit? Yes, let's go hang out with them. I had a feeling you'd come. Thanks, I'll be waiting. Hi, Gachi. Hi. Hey, there, Kun. Good evening. Hey. If you have some time before the sh I have some time before the shoot. If you're not busy, do you want to hang out? What yes. So I can finally get your bond you. closer to being raised. Good. Let's get going. Kachi looks to be enjoying himself. These discussions seem to be engaging for him. Maybe there's a way to make sure Kachi has a good time. Oh, that's right. I have something Akechi might like. Considering Akechi, I feel like he may appreciate something useful to him. Maybe? Oh, nope. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it feels like I didn't really impress Akechi much with that gift. <laughs> Oopsie. See you, See you later. later. Well... Oh no. Now we gotta go visit Mr. Igor. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. <laughs> yeah. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. No, I'm not foolish. One with an unseen form. That's somebody else. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean Medjes? Medjed? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Okay. Thanks for that, Igor. That really helped. It didn't. Oh, hi. It's really summer now. 
I get sweaty just walking a little bit. <laughs> I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. True. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? I think they're entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. <laughs> My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. It's always riveting talking to you, Akechi. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Medjad showdown. Which of them will come out on top? Both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjad causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon, but you gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Oh, we'll never know. NPCs 40 and, and 41. I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do for his voice? Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? You're a phantom thief. Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjad, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts, just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Um, who is this? Oh, I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. You can't reply back. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Very true. Ding, ding. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Nope. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. <laughs> I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then... Does that mean this guy's a hacker? Well, clearly he's I something. High tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey. Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? <laughs> but we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Speak your truth, Yusuke. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. 
There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? It's basically the only place. <laughs> oh, what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? Uh-oh. No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? I'm um. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura. Sojiro Sakura. Calls me boss. <laughs> the By way, he says it. that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right. The store's all yours. Bye, Papa Soji. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Uh. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Interesting. Oh, come on! It's in English! <laughs> Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! <laughs> Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's the matter? <laughs> the way Red's that just trouble. snapped in his direction. <laughs> it's rare for you to get something like this. Oh. Uh oh. Calling card. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? I should say so. That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's <coughs> orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Uh oh. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashiro case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice, but there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. We can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm. First that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card? What the hell's going on? Guess it's as good as mine, man. I don't know. Okay. Um. Let's 
go a little bit longer. I don't have nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Sleep. Oh. Good morning. Hi, Kasumi. <laughs> Every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are, Senpai? Uh, I got nothing. I see. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Then maybe we'll have a chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instructions. I really hope so. I need to max out your confidant. <laughs> Just let me know whenever you're available, Senpai. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going then. Uh oh. What is it now? Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. <laughs> Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Got it, Ryuji. I'll be the first to know. Oh my god. Ryuji again? <laughs> he just never shuts up, does he? Oh. Good day. Who is this? Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You were the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Um... <laughs> you got the wrong guy, pal. No, I know I'm right. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Nope. Are you cutting class? That's not good, you know. Now then, I've prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Hmm? Stealing a heart, of course. Tell him. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? What's the target's name? A name. Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm, I, su I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail on this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Wait. I can't find the account, account to send a message to. All I get back is an error message. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. Papa Soji! We should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? <laughs> what the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? <laughs> it's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Yeah, it wasn't exactly I'll great when we first got the there. House. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being I don't even tested. know who, how he's connected. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? 
What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? <sighs> oh no. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. I'll start packing my bags too. I'm sure I'll get kicked out now too. Looks like it's a hit. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered. Ren, were you able to ask Bosk about, about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope of def defeating Medjad. I hope we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it, would force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I grow go, go I go. <laughs> I owe a great deal to bo both Boss and Ren. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know, just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. I love that they call him Boss. <laughs> Can I go outside? Why? Can I at least train? I forgot about that. You wanna do it? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. Pick your own pace and work hard. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep up the hard work. Nice going. Hmm, it seems you've gained some strength. All right. Increase by eight. Well then. Well, it's getting late. Why don't you get some sleep? Yo. I read you. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway. <laughs> Asking around in your neighborhood. Shame you're only a second year then. You got one more year of that. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget. There's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't do- don't go someplace shady like the red light district. Don't go to the beach after dark. I wanna go to the beach. I wanna jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break after all. Or for a while. I see. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Mm. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to in and gather info around the neighborhood. Where I go with my COVID odds. Futaba? Futaba. Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah, oh, yes. That was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask some other people, too. <laughs> Futaba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? I am a grown boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who eats a lot then. Let's ask some other people too. Oh no. Wait a second, are you two twins? Just a second. <laughs> oh, okay, you are different. You just look really similar. <laughs> Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Hmm, but wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them, though? Eh, uh, yeah. I guess. Gotta ask somebody, though. Futaba? No. No, I don't know who that could be. Great. <laughs> so riveting. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. 
Great, this is real, real great. Helping a lot here. Oh, hmm. Did you want to listen in? Do you think the Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. What's this rubbish about Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Kitty. Hi. Hi. Aha. Delivery guy again? Butaba? Hmm. Nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to soccer sons often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. <laughs> this place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Gee. Mm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh boy. I'm glad I packed my bag last night. Because uh, he's gonna kick me out. <laughs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? Mm. I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Man, I sure hope so. For your Papa Soji's sake. And stay out! <laughs> that woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. So it's how about your daughter? Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You I'm prepared for it. I'm already ready. I just want to know. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Science. I what the chief's hiding. Cognitive yeah, science, like the subject. subject though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yo, how'd it go? You find out anything about Sakura? Fidel Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. Um, at the hideout, okay. Whoa. So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Rancoon, thank you. Alright, then let's let's all meet up tomorrow. Can I please leave the house? Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. I guess we won't find an answers just by thinking about it. Let's get to bed. woman was threatening boss yeah she was going on about domestic abuse and taking yeah, and not just any woman either oh. what's up 
It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Oh, here we go. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help if you help you if it's if you stole her heart. What well, seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. I want to meet you. Me? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay. It's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. It won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you excuse me. Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. And we can't find the account. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? <sighs> you do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! Oh yeah? We What's up? One hundred and fifty thousand yen out of it! Holy! Let's go! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival! Yeah! God, it's something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Absolutely. I love sushi. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Sounds good to me. Oh my. I wonder if all that Medjed business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah. But that's no fun. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up. On the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'm refrained from saying who though. <laughs> you better not be talking about me. <laughs> I love Yusuke and Ryuji's friendship. No! <laughs> oh, 
Bedtime. Oh, I should have trained. Man. You seem quite busy, Sai son. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashira. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Uh, Did you come all this way I'm sure your skin is flawless, Akechi. How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi. Sushi. This place is in Kin Kinza, right? So we take the usual train from Shibuya? Ginza, famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan, the forefront of trends. Aside from the shops, cafes are plenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. All right. Ginza sushi bar. I can't say sushi. Sushi. Gosh. <laughs> Struggling. Man, the flounder is out of this world. <laughs> that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Put your horses and don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No. No chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? <laughs> he must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. <laughs> How foolish. <laughs> mm, still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> oh, hi there. Welcome to the stream. Uh, um, the fan fantastic. This sushi We're just playing delicious. some Persona 5. Where we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we 
really are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san. Oh, hi, Akechi. Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. <laughs> I had full name and everything. How do you know my name? So true. I love Akechi. Well, because I'm psychic, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. Uh-oh. For real? Ah, English again. <laughs> Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, Regarding yeah? this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Um... If you're one of the Phantom Thieves... Um... I might ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. Mechant's a My universal thing, so... Led me to believe they are a group of you know. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? <laughs> I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> Ryuji's a Phantom Thief. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. Nope. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms. But don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Bye, Akechi. <laughs> no, this is New Game Plus. I've already played it before. You think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... Maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, act now normal challenge. <laughs> oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. Oh gosh. We are, Majed, we are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Um, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? 
If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. <laughs> so true. Just end it all right here. We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options yeah. on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? I suppose you not. You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? <gasps> Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yeah, I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! <laughs> no complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Queen and her big brain. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. <laughs> I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. <laughs> Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. <laughs> Slip in, I guess. Well, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? <laughs> I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> Scream! <laughs> It's fine, as long as nobody finds out, right? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? Uh, I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? Sure thing, Makoto. It's not my hand, though. It's it? my arm. Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No, my legs won't move. So true. <laughs> Throw him in front of any danger.
Uh oh. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Did you hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody, please save me. You? What are you doing in my house? Uh. You're. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, that we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? No. We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> but that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. <laughs> Got the squad posted up. Wrong idea. <laughs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Like she's not gonna hear you at the shop. <laughs> no. Where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day she left, leaving Futaba behind. She left. Yes, she committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Oh. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. 
Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Uh, what does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. Nope, not a chance. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. There what it the? is. She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Whoa. Uh -oh. Where's Morgana? <laughs> Cat's missing. Seen him for some time. So ever since we went inside Boss's house? <laughs> Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway. Let's contact each other afterward. You got it, Makoto. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> there he is. Where'd Morgana go? Who knows? It's fine with me though. Oh, why does Morgana need to be here for that? Uh, should get to bed. Oh, were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? <laughs> sure was. The chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. Where were you? <laughs> hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Young? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair, too. At the very least, 
She's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. <laughs> Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Just who is she? In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Back to the room. With our favorite prosecutor. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Um, they were an unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Um... Finally listening? <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. It seems Sanijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Rank two. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Anyways. <laughs> 36%. Seriously? They're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting? I guess they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. That jet's statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. It could just be a joke. There's talk that this le could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're going to target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjet is after. This is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. Ah, eh, you're right. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Morning! Oh, hey Ren! Morning! Hmm? Is there something over there? Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. remember this assembly. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, this assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. <laughs> this poor man only you owns four four pairs out. of clothes. <laughs> come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjad. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. The pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. 
It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. Yeah, we don't if need to we agree. Heal Futaba's heart. It will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yes, let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Uh, I hope so. That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. I can sense a firm resolve from Morgana. Rank six. All right. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Damn cat, keeping me behind. No, the last keyword. She's a shut in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Hmm. Maybe an oasis? Closer. I think so far. In that case, how about hell? Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. This poor girl. <laughs> Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. <laughs> no reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Uh oh. Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Oops. You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Uh-oh. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. 
Okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? Um. How is living in this house? It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. Um. Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Die? That's right. I'm definitely going to die here. Oh my gosh, why does it do that? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. <laughs> you idiot! Don't activate it here! Oh, Ryuji. Ever the smart one. Are still the same? Oh, they're all wearing their we socks on the sand. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as <clears> an <throat> enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's something shiny. That would make sense. Tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Cat car, activate! Not, my paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. What exactly are the implications okay. of that? <laughs> All right. I've never thought about that before. Man, how is Yusuke wearing two shirts? Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? Not even looking. <laughs> Gotta fix his hair. at all the hell was that lukewarm air about <laughs> that was the best i could do so quit your yapping it's a miracle you even had any For real you are so half-assed what was that you want to fight punk <laughs> Jeez, shut up it's hot so don't make me more irritated 
run over there with the dad stance. <laughs> A pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. <laughs> hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh man. Ugh, so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. Alrighty. It seems. Hutava's palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Let's go. Okay. Okay, we'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. Love this soundtrack. It's so good. Whoa! Whoa! It's so nice inside. Is this the place? Air? Is this air? <clears throat> Goodness! Is this place air conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh? Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are all completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. This is amazing. These stairs go pretty far. There's no there's way too many god there's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be heading into the heart of the, the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go. Well, time, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Up we go. <laughs> I'll forge it like this. So true. Bygone era, the real things that pass Do you think so? You can actually call this a real thing. Hmm? There's someone there. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So don't listen to the pushy where blonde. <laughs> possession is. This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb. Why have you come? I never noticed the like eyeliner under her eye. What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where <laughs> someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. <laughs> A little different context, Yusuke. That my palace is in. There is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child, you killed her. You're Plague. What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! your fault! This is horrible. Hey, what the hell is this? Don't come don't near me! Don't stand there! Say something! Your fault! Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. Uh, not good. Mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Uh, uh oh. Our clothes. She's 
sees us as a threat now. What's going on? I'm getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? Oh, quick! Nope, never mind. It's just a giant ball. <laughs> the way they're running! safe that was too close Wait. Oh. why now what even if we wanted to ask futaba what's going on it seems the door is shut what should we do i think our best option is retreating for now this won't be as simple as we expected why don't we prepare a little more and then come back good idea you're right true then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day Midget is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. It's that so day far away. is fast approaching. The phantom thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we Guess need we'll to find out. Sakura before the 21st. Not. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Maiden up in Shibuya then come in here as a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. <laughs> boys will be boys. Indeed. The pyramid golden <laughs> ratio was truly a sight to behold. You didn't care about on. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. You are a car. You can't stare. Not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed. Am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Hideout is now in Young and Jack Cafe LeBlanc. Not again! Well, that sucked. Is doing this really gonna help us do something about Medjet? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjet will be will definitely make a move. Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjet? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? 
This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why does it have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Renkun, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. We have no choice. Oh, now what? Oh. Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. I tried to access the URL, but it says that page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? <laughs> no, it's Alibaba. Huh? Alibaba? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Medjed's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh! Uh, what is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm gonna try and look into it a little more though. See you. Is that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? <laughs> Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Okay. Well, anyways. Uh, that is where I'm going to end it for today. Um, I did not expect to actually get to the start of the palace, I'll be honest. But, um, yeah. It was very nice. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, I will be streaming again on Sunday. Um, for FPS Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, because I work in the morning. So, uh, as always, time is subject to change. It may be at the normal one o'clock time. It may be later. Who knows? It just depends. Um, make sure you follow my Twitter accounts, uh, at Howling Creator and at Howling Creator. Um, Creator will be the one where I keep track of what time the stream will be. Um, check out my YouTube at Howling Creator. It's on the overlay. Uh, that's where I post my VODs, once, so once they disappear from Twitch, you can go and watch them there if you'd like. Um, follow my TikTok at Howling Creator. I post clips there sometime. Not recently, but it's there for if I do. Um, follow the stream, turn on my post notifications if you had a good time, if you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, Sunday will be Overwatch for FPS Sunday, and then Monday, we'll, we will return to Persona and go through Futaba's Palace. I can't wait, honestly. I love Futaba's Palace so much. I love Futaba. But yeah, I hope everybody has a good rest of their day or night, and I hope to see you guys again on Sunday for FPS Sunday. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Have a good day, everybody!